principles matter. A lot of business people are very pragmatic. And what that means is they make decisions based on uh, doing what seems to work in the short term circumstances. Well, there are a lot of things that work in the short term that are very destructive in the long term. And if you don't have the right kind of principles, the odds are that you're going to make a lot of bad decisions, even if they don't appear to be bad decisions at the current time. In addition, a lot of business people are victims, I believe, of the altruism that permeates our society. And what altruism means is that everybody else is important but you. The interesting thing is you can't run a business uh, with that kind of perspective. You can't have the self-esteem, you can't have the self-confidence, and you can't uh, meet your fundamental uh, goals as a business leader unless you have a strong sense of, of purpose uh, in yourself and in your organization. And that purpose begins with recognizing that you as an individual are a valuable person. Philosophy is really about the fundamental ideas in which guide your life and, and enable you to make important decisions. You can't avoid having a philosophy. The real issue is what your philosophy is, how well you've thought out your philosophy, and what impact it's going to have on the quality of your life. Because philosophy provides very fundamental principles, it can guide you in the right direction. Uh, for example, uh, one of the fundamental beliefs in objectivism is that you need to make logical decisions based on the facts. You need to accept reality and use your thinking capacity to, to deal with the issues that come from reality. That's a very important business decision because unfortunately a lot of times people in business don't make decisions based on the facts and bad things happen to their business accordingly. One of the most powerful aspects of Rand's philosophy is that it is fully integrated. She starts with understanding the, the nature of reality, man's means and knowledge, and the kind of ethics that are appropriate to an independent thinking being. We talk about people having integrity, but if you don't have integrated principles, you can't have integrity. If you have inconsistent beliefs, you can't operate consistently with inconsistent beliefs. And Rand's philosophy is a fully integrated system. The second most powerful attribute that the philosophy has is it works in the real world. <laughs> and, and a lot of people hold beliefs that don't work in the real world, so they can't live consistent with those beliefs. So she has a real world philosophy that's fully integrated, which is a very powerful competitive advantage in life.